Now, I like to hijack corporate globalist media. And if I would have thought about it, I would have uh, uh, been able as a media person to go see a sneak peek they had a few weeks ago. In fact, I even got the offer and just didn't have time to go do it. And then I could have done a review of the film. Or I could even wait till it came out last week, go see it, do a review on the radio. It's very popular. It'll get picked up all over the news. But I just got busy following other news. So I'm kind of doing training here on air right now as well for my crew because I don't even do what I know works. You go cover their Super Bowl or their Superman movie uh, or their big media event and you hijack it and then you cover it, but then put what you think the public <coughs> isn't aware of into that report. In fact, I should have told all my reporters, you can do whatever you want this week because they have so much freedom, but do something on Superman, whatever angle you want. And then they were, I'm just giving you total transparency, the thought process here. Um, and, and then I was telling them this yesterday, and they go, like, what? Well, will, will Superman join the NSA? Uh, you know, is it right that Superman turns bad and starts looking through walls at women in the shower? We got a graphics department. Go put it together, do it. Somebody will do it now. I'm announcing it on air. I don't care if somebody else does it. Boom, that's a viral story right there. Tie Superman to the NSA scandal. See, I don't even use one-tenth of what I know to dominate and take over media with the truth. <clears throat> but that's the number one rule for alternative media, not just our operation, because we're all in this together. I'm not in competition with people. Hijack globalist media. Hijack it. Because they don't have any power in news anymore. They're a shadow of themselves when it comes to what they report on. Almost no one believes them, and those polls are out. Their, their share is shrinking, but they still have massive, massive, massive attention when it comes to entertainment programs, TV shows, dramas, uh, sitcoms, Hollywood movies and things, video games. And when you go see a major action adventure movie or you go turn on a cop show or a drama show or a hospital show or you go i mean i've seen i don't know eight nine ten i forget just the last few months new video games come out every shoot 'em up military game i've seen from rainbow six to you name it you're fighting malicious it's our listeners that point this out and send us screenshots we go watch the trailer do a report on it I've even told the crew, buy some of these uh, video game consoles so we can monitor this and show how the Kinect spies on us and uses wireless to scan through the walls. And, oh, it can see you. Here's the Washington Times, by the way. Uh, Big Brother alert. Cameras and cable boxes to monitor TV viewers. 17 years after I told you. And they knew this. It's, see, now it's safe, though. It's like in the past, I'd talk to reporters and they'd go, it doesn't matter if it's true. People just, it's too, too, they're not going to believe it. It sounds crazy. Well, I mean, if it's real, it's real. <laughs> but, I mean, good job, Washington Times. The point is, is that there is a war in media and they are hitting you. I mean, any, my, my wife likes to watch TV more than I do uh, when she exercises and things, and I don't blame her you know, on the treadmill or whatever, watch a show. And she goes, I can't watch anything. She likes hospital shows and cop shows. And she stops them and goes, look at this. The mother that won't vaccinate is a murderer. Or, oh, look at this. The guy that's exposing chemtrails is going to nerve gas New York. Uh, or look at this show. Uh, the militia uh, works for the serial killer is going to blow everybody up. Or this show about fixing up houses that's not even fiction. They went and found, like, right-wing gun owners to demonize in it. I mean... That's the message. And I know a lot of people in Hollywood. Quite frankly, I don't have time to run after them and you know, jump through hoops to sit there and you know, go hang out with them and stuff to get them on the show. It doesn't do that big of a deal to have you even get a big Hollywood person on the show. People want to hear about news and info. They're not really you know, care about Hollywood stars. And Hollywood stars get that too. They're, most of them are sick of the narcissism and sick of the whole culture. But I'm here to tell you. Here's the good news before I get into the Man of Steel review and then your calls. We were going to go interview Ed Asner and a couple other Hollywood people out in L.A. for the upcoming Obama deception, too. That's going to blow away the last Obama deception with everything in documents, which is hard to do. That film's been seen over 40 million times free online. That's a big deal. That's what I'm into is hearts and minds, not the money. The money is just energy. 
And it's energy to wake people up. That's the energy I'm looking for, not energy that comes back to me. What I want coming back to me is a free planet, is a future for our world. And build a better world instead of a worse world. Jacobson has all the footage of this. He went to a movie uh, conference and then he went to a TV conference and was mobbed wearing Infowars.com shirt by TV hosts and TV m and movie stars and everything else. I mean, it's all on video. Just mobbed like, like Elvis was there or something. Uh, that's how hot Infowars is. And by the way, I'm not bragging about this. It's just a radar ping. But in the sum aggregate of what we've done, the hottest we are is in Hollywood because they all know they're paid to put propaganda in TV shows and movies. They all know the CIA and FBI are involved. They all know that the big lawyers and, and, and less than 15 big media bosses are total New World Order and threaten them if they try to put pro-liberty messages in movies or TV shows. And they sit there hating putting subliminals saying that Ron Paul is a methamphetamine head uh, and a criminal uh, in you know, Breaking Bad and things like that. They're aware of it. They're told. They're paid to do this. Okay? And, and that's come out in the news as well. But they're there. They're hating it. They don't want to be fake liberals. They don't want to be fake conservatives. They want to be uh, good people. And they don't like the fact they have to run their scripts by the Pentagon, the Communist Chinese, and multiple mafias now. And, I mean, I mean, it's Jewish mafia and Italian mafia in Hollywood. And I believe me, I've been out there, folks, in the meetings. I mean, it is good fellow level stuff with guys with cigars going, I'll tell you, you're not going to get that done like that. Okay? I mean, it, literally out of a Godfather movie. Okay? And people are sick of it. And now these mobs have sold out, so you've got to go get the chai -coms to agree. And I was watching CNBC yesterday, as I told you, and they were complaining. I watched it for like an hour and a half while I was writing some notes and making phone calls. I didn't rarely watch TV that much. And the whole time they were complaining, going, yeah, it's great to have the folks that run Tiananmen Square buying up all the companies. They were watching uh, pork companies, the biggest ones bought up and everything, and being sold off for nothing. And, 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 and then well, there's not much of America left. And they were all, because they like the ego of America's big and bad, and they all get that they're schmucks. And as I said years ago, the Saudi Arabians, the communist Chinese, they now own News Corp. Uh, they control it. Uh, it's not Rupert Murdoch anymore. They own it all. We're sold out, folks. Uh, and, and, and the old mafias that ran Hollywood, I mean, they're like 80-something years old now, these guys. And they're just fading off. And then you've got all the new writers... All the new people. What you're hearing here, by the way, is a big story. Somebody ought to codify this into an article. I mean, every party I've been to at Hollywood, I don't even go there anymore because I don't have time to do it. Every A-lister event, everything I've been invited to that I've seen, everyone hates the New World Order. Everyone is against it. And these people really know what's going on. So I go see the new Tron movie a few years ago. Total anti-eugenic film. And about the elite was wrong. We wanted to take over and kill everybody. It's wrong. We need to come together as humanity. Just total anti-New World Order. Uh, I go see uh, Oblivion. Total anti-New World Order. Uh, I go see Man of Steel. Total anti-New World Order. And I know some of the people out there, not all of them, uh, are listeners. And, I, and I've also uh, consulted for some big movie makers, but I had to sign non-disclosure forms over the last decade. I don't even really return the calls now. It's not time to mess with it. I probably should, because this is where the power is really at. Uh, but InfoWars is on fire in Hollywood, only because it's only one of the few things coming up out of the media sea. It's one of the higher mountains. But there's all these other things below the surface that you can't see. And it just shows how big the awakening is. So when we come back, I'll give you my review of The Man of Steel, Another anti-eugenics, anti-New World Order, anti-police state tour de force. And, it, and it's a, if I could talk to the directors and writers, I'll guarantee you they're anti-New World Order and, 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 and got this through. And the question is, how are they getting it through? I'll tell you.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Okay, so let me tell you what's happening in Hollywood. All the young writers, all the new directors are tuned in, they're awake. And they see the whole corrupt system, the Pentagon spending billions for product placement to demonize veterans and gun owners. I mean, they go to parties, the CIA's there telling them what to put in their reports. I mean, I've had Doug Hagman on the show to talk about this, or Dean Hagman uh, from the X-Files. This is all happening. And so they hear my show and they know it's accurate. And so what happens is also kind of the old mafia guard knows that it's popular to have pro-family messages, it's popular to have pro-liberty messages, and all of this anti-human stuff is getting less and less popular. So, you know, when things like the Bible get 12, 15 million viewers uh, on a cable channel that usually has a million viewers if they're lucky, everybody is getting it. So their greed is also fighting with the fact that they want to dominate the culture and politically dumb America down by giving us you know, cultural bilge, but that isn't what sells. So there's been a revolution of other media platforms. And I don't know Christopher Nolan or David S. Goyer uh, that wrote The New Man of Steel, but I've not been a Superman fan, not a big uh, you know fan of uh, comics regardless. All they are is Greek gods repackaged. Humans have this archetype of Supermen and super women that, 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 that then you model after and try to build towards. They're archetypes. That's, it's, it's absolutely there. And they program these archetypes in. And, and they admit it's a Christ uh, archetype. 33 years old, father's name, you know, Joseph, mother Mary. They changed it for this one. They keep explaining for 33 years, you know, the wise men of the military uh, ha have been seeking after him. But it's everything in the film was positive except for the police state element, just getting you acclimated to troops on the streets, pointing guns at reporters and things and people being disappeared, men in black uniforms, you know, marching around. That just becomes ubiquitous and then we start expecting it and then it's used as a simulation as well uh, of things to come so that we start to accept it. Uh, but undoubtedly, this is an anti-eugenics film. And it gets into ancestral memories, instincts, a lot of other things. It's very, very heavy. But they know that's what sells. See, they have to give you that for it to be successful. Uh, but if you look at Superman developed back in 1933, and then you compare it uh, to this film, uh, it's basically the same story of... Earth was seeded in an early colonization program. They don't come right out and say it, but that's what it is, uh, by people from Krypton. But in wars and things, their other settlements have broken down and died out. And that's the whole kind of secret issue at the end of the movie is, is that Zod wants to terraform and do a genetic re-overwrite, which is what the globalists are actually doing currently, to the atmosphere, but also to the genetic makeup of the planet uh, and as a eugenicist who believes that all the breeding must be planned in these Brave New World state-run uh, laboratories. And, of course, Superman came out this, a year after Brave New World came out, so it's also heavily, heavily influenced uh, Cicera 1930, 1933. So it's a very sophisticated film and, and um, overall is, is, is extremely uh, positive because... You can argue it's revelation of the method. Uh, you can argue to everybody uh, that it's externalization of the hierarchy to condition us and prepare us. Uh, but that's not the effect it would have in, in, in my general analysis. And, and that's not the general message that I get out of it. So I see it, again, as an overall rebellion uh, within the media mind control structure uh, to put something put something out like this and it's also the great quandary of people that are intelligent and people that are psychologically more advanced people that can uh have a better sixth sense or look 
you know, into people. That, you know, there's a metaphor or an, uh, an allegory of that where he has x-ray vision and it's freaking him out to be able to look into people's bodies when he's a kid. Uh, just like it is oppressive for people in a way that are more enlightened and more intelligent and more sensitive because you then pick up on what people are doing and you see them and trying to manipulate you at a lesser level and you're so much stronger and better than them at so many levels that you refuse to crush them but then other people who are more advanced than the general slaves the slave class they're willing to use it all to dominate and control because they believe in social darwinianism which general zod's girlfriend actually talked about that it's good to crush and destroy because you overall strengthen things in that process and see that's the issue there are great truths in the whole social darwinistic worldview but then it's twisted because they're actually trying to dumb down the strongest because they get in the way of their larger master plan that's centralized and even though superman is better than the genetically engineered soldier zod and his minions they want to kill him because he's standing in the way of their hegemonic domination and total control the important thing about the pro one filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.